You are making the world a better place by listening to the Joy of Living podcast. This is your guide to achieving a more purposeful, powerful, and positive life. Join Barry Shore in unlocking the best version of you and becoming happier, healthier, and wealthier. And now, here's your ambassador of joy, Barry Shore. Good day, beautiful, bountiful, beloved, immortal beings, and good-looking people. You're good-looking because you're always looking for and finding the good, and you have done this consciously and conscientiously tuned into the Joy of Living podcast with your humble host, Barry Shore, and I'm deeply honored, and I appreciate it so much. And you know the reason you did it, because you care the most in the entire world about you. Y-O-U, which is wonderful, by the way, because that's the whole purpose of the Joy of Living podcast, enabling you to become the best you possible because you do that, you make the world a better place. You build more bridges of harmony. You create more joy, happiness, peace, and love because you know that on this show, we discuss the three fundamentals of life, and these three fundamentals enable you to be happier, healthier, and wealthier. Who doesn't want that? I just want to let you know, and I appreciate it so much. Right now, you're joined by 348,613 people around the world. And by the time we bring on our wondrous, amazing, and inspirational, transformational guest, wonderful Justin, there'll be over 360,000 people. And you're always urging your family and friends to do that. So let's get, we want to get over 400,000 listeners on a regular basis by the next couple of months. So just think about that, how we share this with five people. That's it. Just share with five people, touch a million and a half people, and we'll keep growing the audience because we make a difference in the world. That's right. So the first fundamental of life, of course, is that life has purpose. That's right. You have a purpose-driven life. Number two happens. In this case, a good number two. You go mad. Now, MAD is a wonderful acronym that stands for make a difference. You lead a purpose-driven life, you make a difference in the world. And the third fundamental is to uncover the power and the secrets of everyday words and terms. Simple example, right now, carried over the internet, ask anybody, what does WWW stand for? Invariably, say it has to do with the internet. Factually speaking, they're correct. In our world, however, in the world of the positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant, WWW stands for... What a wonderful world. And what, of course, is a word, W-H-A-T-A. Huh? The what a wonderful world. But whenever you hear the opening bars of that song, and a big thank you to Louis Armstrong, the Satchmo, for enabling what a wonderful world to go viral and touch not just tens of millions or hundreds of millions, but billions of people around the planet. What do you do right away when you hear opening bars? You can't help it. You smile. Now, smile is one of the most important words you could ever integrate and utilize and leverage in your life because SMILE is a great acronym that stands for Seeing Miracles in Life Every Day. That's right, Seeing Miracles in Life Every Day. Now, I am speaking to groups on the internet. Yes, I do a lot of these, but also in person. Recently, I addressed a group, 1,172 people. And I'm telling the story about Barry Shore and about seeing miracles in life every day. And some people raising their hand, hey, Barry Shore, Barry Shore, I've been up for hours. I haven't seen any miracles. And I asked them, are you here? Can you hear? Can you stand still? I can't do that. Can you walk? I can barely do that. You have water to drink, you have food to have a place to sleep, family, friends. Every single one of those is a miracle. What's the proof? Simple proof. A million people didn't get out of bed this morning. You know why? They died. By definition, if you're watching or you're listening, you didn't. Therefore, you have an obligation to live life to the full and be a giver and a contributor to life. And again, the result is you'll be happier healthier and wealthier. So let me just tell you a quick story. It's about me. Imagine if you can, standing up in the morning, hale and hearty, able to leave tall buildings in a single bound, and that evening in the hospital, totally, completely paralyzed. And it was not from an automobile accident. It was not a spinal injury. It was a rare disease, which I never heard of the day before, took over my body and rendered me what's called a quadriplegic. Nothing in my body moved my neck down. Completely paralyzed. I could only communicate by blinking my eyes. 144 days in the hospital. 
I was two years in a hospital bed in my own home. I couldn't turn over by myself. Four years in wheelchair. I had braces on both my legs, my hips, my ankles. That was progress. Thank God today I'm able to be vertical and ambulatory with the help of a seven-foot walking wand. So I'm a tripod, not a biped. I still can't walk up a stair by myself. I can't walk up a curb by myself. And I've helped 12 hours a day, seven days a week. But you hear my voice, positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant. It's all because of this one word, smile, seeing miracles in life every day. Now, I got to tell you a quick story, though. <laughs> My eight-year-old niece comes over to me a few weeks ago. She says, Uncle Barry, Uncle Barry, can we spell smile, S-M-I-E-L? I thought about it. Smile, smile, sounds the same. Why not? I asked her, how come? She says, because then it would stand for seeing miracles in everyday life. Out of the mouth of an eight-year-old. But what was she doing? She was creating the kind of world that she wants to live in. Now, CREATE is a fabulous acronym that stands for causing rethinking, enabling all to excel. You're going to experience a lot of, not a lot, just enough rethinking with our amazing guest, Justin, in just a couple of minutes. Now, rethinking means a shift in perspective. A shift in perspective. Now, I've been working with people for more than 42 years. And I can tell you, 97.2% of all the people I work with drop the F and shift and the other stuff happens. You're going to be F and careful with your Fs. You want to shift your perspective. When you do that, you can now internalize, utilize, and leverage the six most important words you'll ever know. And these words are choice, not chance, determines your destiny. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. How you choose to respond in any given situation will re result in where you're going and the trajectory. And before we bring on Justin, I do want to warn people that I do use a lot. I use a lot of four-letter words. I even use the four-letter F-U word, and I do it because of the shock value and it's fun. Now, of course, the four-letter words that we use because we live in the world of positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant are love, life, hope, Free, gift, swim, pray, play. <laughs> and the four-letter F-U word is fun. Fun. Yes, F-U, capital N, capital N. Now, if people are raising and say, hey, Barry Shaw, fun's only spelled with three letters. Not in our world. We're the positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant. Fun is spelled F-U, capital N, capital N. So after the show, when you see your family and friends, I want you to point your finger, have a twinkle in your eye, a smile on your face, and tell everybody, F-U, everybody. Remember to add right away, capital N, capital N. Say, where'd you get that? I, said, I listen to Barry Shore on the Joy of Living podcast. He wants to teach everybody in the world to F you, capital N, capital N. So just before we bring on Justin, I want everybody to do the following. I want you to use the two most powerful words in the English language three times a day from now and the rest of your life. It will make you happier, healthier, and wealthier. And these two words are, of course, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks stands for to harmonize and nurture kindness. You go into your uh, coffee shop, order your fancy latte, sit down, somebody brings it to you, say, thank you. Walk into the coffee shop, you order a fancy latte, a couple of minutes go by, and nobody brings it, you go to the counter, say, I'm sorry, we forgot, we're busy. And you sit down, a couple of minutes, somebody brings you, still say, thank you. You're walking out of the coffee shop, it's raining out. Somebody holds the door open for you, say, thank you. You're walking out of the coffee shop, and it's raining, and somebody slams the door on you. You say, Thank you. You're in traffic, late for an appointment. Somebody cuts you off. You say, thank you. You get up in the middle of the night and you stub your toe and it hurts. You say, thank you. To harmonize and nurture kindness. Kind is an amazing word. Stands for keep inspiring noble deeds. I can't think of anybody, anybody that I want to share with you that inspires noble deeds then the other wonderful Justin Breen. Justin, please say hello to 362,918 people around the world. It's a wonderful opportunity uh, to be here. I'm very grateful. And um, what you said, choice, not chance, determines your destiny. I think that's what it really comes down to. And I just look at things as you either do something or you don't do it. And my whole life is if I believe in something, then I just do it. That's my choice. And then um, all the great things that happen in life are a result of actually doing something. So not overthinking, not overfeeling, just execute, taking action. And that's a choice I make every day. He is the A word. He's an A hole. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. First of all, Justin, when was the last time somebody said F you to you and you laughed? 
Uh, well, that happens every day. Uh, my wife is, um, uh, she's a pediatrician, stabilizing human. Uh, Harmony is her number one strength finder. Um, number one. Um, and then I'm 31 out of 34 in Harmony. So she's like, you know, she and I are both high achievers. She just does it with Harmony. Um, but with me, she loves dropping the, the F-bomb uh on the and then our sons are nine and eleven and we we say that to each other all the time because we think it's funny but right um, but now you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna urge them to say f u capital n capital n say, my kids? That, <laughs> i don't know we'll see about that that would be funny if they did well just, that tell, would be funny. just tell them you know dad dad's an asshole what where did you get that well asshole stands for a-s-k Always seeking kindness. <laughs> Whole stands for helping others live exuberantly. You know, I like that um, uh, you take things and your keyword and and uh, letters. And uh, uh, growing up, my favorite movie was Jaws, and then you turned Jaws into Joy at Work System. <laughs> so right, I thought that was pretty funny. Well, that's and we did it purposely. So I'm going to just tell a little bit about Justin because if I start doing the whole C, uh, you know, CV, and it, it would just take too long. But suffice it to say, he's already introduced <laughs> you. He's a man of action. He's yeah. the founder and CEO of this remarkable platform called Brepic. B R E P I C. B R for his first letters of his last name. Breen and Epic because it is. We'll call it Epic. Is enthusiastic, purposeful, inspirational causation oh causation causation how about collaboration instead wait a minute i was justin what a way to get into a topic let's talk about your essence your essence is in my humble opinion collaboration so let's talk about building collaborative global companies that are really involved with understanding that family comes first Business comes along. It's all done to serve, which we'll call God. Let's speak about it in depth. So I, I'm i here to serve. Tell us about collaborative work. Oh, well, you answered your own question by saying choice, not chance, determines your destiny. So um, I'm a dad who happens to be an entrepreneur, not an entrepreneur who happens to be a dad. Um, I don't I don't even understand an entrepreneur who happens to be a dad or an entrepreneur who happens to be a mom. That's, that's confusing to me. And then you've been married, I think 45 years, maybe correct a little to okay. the same woman. Yeah, actually, right. <laughs> actually not. I, I take it back. She corrected me recently, by the oh. way. And this is why I love my wife. I, Cause I mentioned that the same, when we were talking to some friends and yeah. I said, I'm you know, laughing at the same woman. And she says, hello, you're not the same person I married 45 years ago, and I'm not. And we still love each other. Right. That's called collaboration. In other words, growth. Yeah. You can continue to collaborate. Well, it's a that's an interesting. Well, yeah, I agree. Um, causation, collaboration. But the, um, you know, uh, if I I'm I'm very low in ideation, meaning like most of the people I talk to, their idea, 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 shiny object, shiny object. Shi I'm not like that. My, my two shiny objects are spending time with my family and then uh, purpose or essence, which is connecting visionaries to serve humanity. So, but when I do have a great idea, which is really rare, uh, it may be once a year, maybe. Um, but if I have a great one, then my number one strength finder is activator. I just do something. So uh, my wife and I uh, met August 28th, 2004. My wife's name is Sarah. Um, she's a pediatrician and also COO of, of Brepic Network. I'm very grateful for that. But so I told her I loved her September 5th, 2004, a week after um, I met her. I would have told her the first date, but um, she wasn't. I don't think she was prepared to hear that yet. Um, uh, and also the next day she was starting medical school. We Our first date was the day before she started medical school. <laughs> I waited a week, Wait. waited a week. But no, I mean, that it was a choice to. And I think that's the, I think that's what it is. It's you're making the decision and then the ones that go along with that decision, it's up to them, but, but no one will go along with what you're doing unless you make the choice first, unless you activate that choice first and then you see what happens. Okay. So there's that foundation. And then all I do is talk to visionaries. 
So not humans, not business owners, not consultants, just pure visionaries changing the world, the. And I talk to one to two of them every single week, every week that have let entrepreneur visionary life destroy their family life or prevented them from having a family. So I'm like, that's a that's a bad Jaws. That's the opposite of joy right. system. That is no joy, always at work and uh, a total uh, wrong system. The wrong and a waste. System. Joy, that's right. No joy at work, always a waste. Yeah. Disaster. Okay. So that, I mean, so the Epic Life book, um, which is how the, the second, the Epic Network, Network company was created. It's about how to build collaborative, collaborative global companies while putting your loved ones first. Cause I'm a dad who happens to be an entrepreneur. So it's all the same thing with what you said. You just keep doubling down on it. So let's double again and bring it to the next level. We're going to cube it and give us an example, please, a concrete example of something that is collaborative and a global company that you've either been involved with or, or guided, et cetera. Well, there's... Uh... So technically, I'm the founder CEO of two companies, too. Um, so, and I've been an entrepreneur since 2017 with zero business background, zero. I still don't know what an S Corp is because I think it's funny to not learn that. Fun, F U N. <laughs> and then I, I didn't know you had to pay taxes four times a year. Like, I don't, that's business owner stuff that I've never cared about. And then was a journalist for 20 years before starting entrepreneurship. Okay. So first company, which was started six days after turning 40, I was a, a journalist for 20 years, created an entire company based on how PR firms annoyed me for 20 years. Okay. So I don't, I actually don't know what PR firms do. They just bothered me. So I created a solution to that. And then during the process of being interviewed and talking to visionaries constantly, constantly, what I realized was it's not even a PR firm at all. It's not it's not a PR firm. All it, all it is, all it will ever be, and all I care to describe it as, is it's a giant incubator of geniuses, and we're constantly introducing each other for mutual gain. The byproduct is I'm constantly getting intros to folks around the world that want to hire a PR firm because they're tired of being best secret, and it's only for visionaries. It's not for, it's not for business owners. Okay, so what that led to in those discussions... Uh, meaning the PR firm was just a giant incubator of geniuses. The second company is literally just a, SAP, a SaaS platform for connecting visionaries. It's connecting visionaries to serve humanity. So let, wait, well, let's unpack two things here. Yeah. Because we want to make sure that we use terms that everybody in the world understands because we have, thank God, a global audience. Well, that's your okay. gift. That's your gift. So I talk like this and you bridge it. And then I talk to people right. with ADD visionaries and then I simplify it for humans. Right. So I just want you mentioned it's everything is based on a SAP platform, SAP. Mm -mm. Uh, I'm, I'm privileged. SAS, SAS, software as a Oh, I'm sorry. SAS, right. That's what I wanted you to unpack though and yeah. just tell everybody what does SAS stand for? I mean, it's a common term in the business okay. world, but tell everybody what it means. Okay. Well, so that's interesting because other than um, like what the word actually stands for, I don't really know. Like I could never build a, I could never do that. Like I'd electrocute myself doing that. So the right, second, that's not us, by the way, this is wonderful. That's not us. It's other people who do those buildings we utilize. So what is correct. that? Okay. Like? So, okay. So my, I'm in Chicago. Okay. Technically Chicago suburbs, but so we, we live in Chicago. Uh, my wife and our, our two sons who are 11 and nine, my partner for second company, he's in San Francisco, uh, Mark Fujiwara. Most of his day is doing eight and nine figure deals. That is not my world at all, but he is a full backstage visionary genius. So he helped create the SaaS platform, found the correct partnership for doing that. And then Mark was the one who decided choice, not chance, determines your destiny, was that we should have more of a mastermind feel uh, for the company as well. So we have three virtual meetings a month. Mark and my wife, who is COO, uh, as she transitions out of pediatrics, they're planning the first big in-person event for May 15th and 16th in Phoenix. I do nothing backstage, nothing. I don't, because I, I, 
I don't know how to go. You know, I want to tell everybody why he doesn't. He's <laughs> not capable. Incapable. And right. he's incapable and he's unemployable. Unemployable. And, um, and here's what we're going to do. One second. Everybody's on the on yep. the edge. Right now, what we're going to do is we love people that support us because that's what yeah. makes all this happen. We love right. business and we wouldn't even urge you to patronize the people we have if we, they weren't good things for you, either the products or services. Take a brief break. We'll be right back with this amazing being who's talking about and doing, not talking, doing yeah. collaborative global companies. And we'll be right back with more Justin Breen. Don't go away. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Hey, everybody. You know me, Barry Shore, and you know my story. Standing up in the morning, able to leave tall buildings in a single bound that night, being in the hospital, totally, completely paralyzed. Talk about a change of life. I was faced with lots of issues, difficulties, paths forward, if there was to be one. And I'm here to tell you that Finding advice from professional people makes all the difference, certainly in my life. And I would urge everybody to consider doing so in your life. And if you've ever had the opportunity to find someone or some two people that are really matched up with you, then you know it makes a difference. I urge you to consider using better help. Better help if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, so it's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill in a brief questionnaire, I've done it, to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. This is your opportunity to make a difference and become the best you possible. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com forward slash joy of living today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H E L P dot com forward slash joy of living. Betterhelp, H E L P dot com forward slash joy of living. Best wishes. Bye now. Good day, beautiful, bountiful, beloved immortal beings and good-looking people. Maybe you're good-looking. She's always looking for and finding the good. Our cup runneth over with good. Justin Breen, be our epic. I mean, this is stuff that you're on the edge of your seat because it's wonderful. Everything you want to know, by the way, about what Justin brings to you, just go to my website. BarryShore.com, B-A-R-R-Y-S-H-O-R-E, BarryShore.com. It will all be there, how to get in touch with them, what he does, all kinds of stuff. It will help you because this is the T word. This is not just inspiration or information. It's readily available out there. It's information overload in the world today. It's about the T word, transformation. Transformation happens when you take action. So wonderful Justin, there's going to be a, something happening in Phoenix in 2024. Yeah. Um, a little bit more about it, but I really want to hear some more about, let's say, um, oh, you've mentioned these. You work with visionaries. How do you spot a visionary? I mean, do you go around with a Geiger counter? and then Yes. <laughs> but, well, my Geiger counter, um, so I see the world in numbers and keywords. That's I see the world. So some folks see the world in feelings or thinking. My wife sees the world in harmony. Uh, my partner for second company, he sees the world in an empathy and maximizing. So I see the world in numbers and keywords and uh, everything is a pattern. Um, so most of my day is talking to world's top visionaries. And then I hear blah, 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 and then simplify it into a pattern. Okay, so with that background, the easiest way for me to spot a visionary uh, is something you did. I'm thankful you did that. Um, it's Colby, K O L B E dot com, uh, A index. Uh, it's not your personality, it's how your brain takes action. I'm not affiliated with Colby at all. Um, most of the folks that I talk to have talked to, they have already taken Colby. Um, when someone hasn't, I always ask them to almost always, they say yes, because they want to learn more about themselves. But in terms of a visionary, the overwhelming majority, overwhelming, 
majority of the folks I talk to are similar to your Colby score, where it's an eight, nine, or 10 quick start. 10 is the highest. You're a nine. And then a four, three, two, or one follow through. One is the lowest. You're a three follow through. So what does that mean? Uh, in a, I guess I'll try to humanize this. In a humanistic way, that means ADD, diagnosed or undiagnosed. <laughs> ADD is not a disorder. It's no. a sign of genius mislabeled by humans, but humans don't understand it. So they label it a disorder. And without humans or a support system, uh, for a visionary, it's a total, it's a total disaster. Um, usually for someone with that score, cause they're not what we talked about before the break, not capable of following through. That's not how their brain takes action. They need humans or someone, a COO or someone to do that. Okay. So my Colby score, which is eight, six, seven, one is a pure unicorn score. It, I mean, I've never met another one. Um, maybe I will one day, but so I have high quick start, high follow through and high fact finder. So it's like two people combined into one. I just say it, do it ultra focused, only focused on my family and network. Okay. So that's only two things. And then mo most humans, most business owners, they uh, and and this would describe my wife, who's a, again a pediatrician, now COO. She's lower quick start and higher follow through. So they're waiting for a visionary to create something, to create something, and then they will gladly follow through on that. They will gladly follow through on that. They just need someone to give them the vision, and then they're like machines. Um, and my wife is an incredible COO. She's, I mean, she's just unbelievable. She's a machine. Actually, I want to correct you, please. Yes, go ahead. She's fully believable. Hmm. That's the genius of it. Fully believe. So you're great fully at taking believable. the words and making them that you're you're transforming the words. So you talked about transformation. Yes. And your gift is you take the words and transform them one into the meeting you believe they, but I think you make them more more powerful words. So that's Correct. a gift. That's a that, gift. That's what we do. But I'll give you a quick example. Yeah. The word joy, joy. People love joy. You ask them what it means. I'll tell you how I understand it. Joy stands for journey of you. Yeah. And when you do this, it's going to be in the information at barryshaw.com, the Colby. It is so cool because who doesn't like learning about themselves? I mean, that talk about. You'd be amazed the people that say no. The, and by the way, the non-visionaries actually, um, I, I'll, I can tell when someone's not when they say, no, I'm not going to do it. Or what does the test cost? By the way, it's 55 US dollars. But if someone asks that, they're not a. They're not, They're not even, they, they can't even begin. <laughs> no, no, no. They can't even begin. Yeah. So you'd be, I mean, maybe you wouldn't be amazed, but like, so I see you when you were paralyzed, when you're paralyzed and then you built this system in your head, you like, you can't move, you can't move, but your brain's going and you're, you're, you're like, um, like a marathon runner of words in your head, words and meaning. So I can just, and your brain, you're a nine quick start. So your brain's got to do something and you can't move. So you just came up with phrases and words and meanings, which is really Really interesting. But then the um, the visionary, again, I turned everything into patterns, everything. So so um, there's a fundamental difference between a visionary uh, and, and then everyone else. And then I'd venture to say our firms maybe partner with one out of a thousand people. It's probably less than that. But um, if there's eight billion people, uh, one out of a thousand is eight million. So eight million, is a, that's a lot. And then that's, a lot. Million, that's, that's a lot. Okay. So a visionary can only be one, three attributes. They have to be all three, only three. So one, they're a visionary. So they're not a business owner, not a human, not a consultant. They're, they can see things well before other people. Okay, so it's a, a difference in that. Two, they live in full abundance. Uh, for those who can see my hat, abundance. Uh, no scarcity, no limits, no excuses. And then three, this is what separates what I call the real visionaries from the ones who think they are, but they're really not. A true visionary would never ask, what do you cost or charge? Ever. They would never do that. They would right. only ask, what does an investment with you look like? Right. Right. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. I agree because, yes. It, and I want, it, let's go through them one more time. These are the three. If Again, when I hear three, I think of a triangle, which of mm -hmm. course is the most stable element in the universe. 100%. Not a square, 
not a rectangle. It's the triangle. When you have the three legged stool yes when you have three everything it's all the pythagorean theorems it's 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 all archimedes it's the ability to move the world with a fulcrum and a lever so let's just repeat them one more time the first part for one of the legs is that well you yeah you want to be the v you want to be a visionary you know what does that mean what are you thinking about what are you creating in your mind because if you can create it in your mind it will be that, that right. that's Okay, number two, like you said, and it's <laughs> full abundance. Full abundance abundant. is, uh, it, it, there's a great, um, I have a dear friend, Bernie. No, Siegel. no, no. Full abundance is when you're completely paralyzed and you create a system to enable you and live in joy. That is what full abundance is. That's yes, what you thank you. you. No limits. That's for people you serve. No limits, yeah. I mean, yeah. just because I'm paralyzed, so. Whatever. Now, that's just a, a fun. Figure that's a, it out physical reality at the moment now right. and number three let's do the third leg of the stool because i as, as you think you said the most important leg. it's the most yep. important leg and repeat it again please yep a true visionary will never ever ask what do you cost or charge they will only ask what is an investment would you look like and let me double down on why it's the most important because there, there are two reasons. One, if you ask, what do you cost or charge? That is the opposite of, bund of abundance. Right. And your own limiter, which, which destroys your vision. You can't, you can't have a vision if you don't do anything about it. That's <laughs> one. And then people like attracts like, and dislike attracts dislike. So people who hang out or people who ask, what do you cost or charge? Hang out with people who ask, what do you cost or charge? So not only are you toxic, but your network's toxic. And then people that ask, what is an investment with you look like only want to hang out with people that ask, what is an investment with you? look? They don't, they don't want to hang out with people who make excuses. So it's a double damage and the whole stool crumbles. We love Justin. I want to make mention of one of the great acronyms that uh, was taught to me, by the way, by a dear friend who was a football player at Ohio State. The Ohio State. The Ohio, the Ohio State, yeah. yes. And he was a great one. And he had a great, this famous coach at Ohio State for, for the football team. And he used to, he taught the players um, who were kids. He said, I want to build you into men. Yo, mm -hmm. uh, yo, Y A W, Y A W. Justin, you're going to love this one. You are who you associate with. Yes, right. <laughs> it's it's the essence of of life, right? Right. I mean, the, the simple cliche is birds of a feather flock together. Hundred percent. I, I want to share with you a great story that is, I think, exemplifies you, because as you said, you are a dad who is an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and notice that it's what comes first. It's the dad, right? Right. So. Um, there's a very famous football coach named Lombardi. Matter of fact, that's the pro that's the tro the trophy that is given for the team that wins the Super Bowl, Lombardi yep. Trophy. So back in the day, when I would actually consider watching a football game, this goes back probably half a century. Uh, I don't do it anymore. So he had the uh, Green Bay Packers, and he made the Green Bay Packers the best football team ever. Because they were they were, a, they were a team, they were dedicated. One of the players came, the new player came over to him, said, "Coach, coach, I, 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 I'm just so built up. I want to do everything. I I am dedicated to the Green Bay Packers. It is the number one thing in my life." And Coach yeah. Lombardi said to him, uh, "I can't play you this week because you need to know the reality of life." The reality of life is the following. It's God, family, and the Green Bay Packers. Right. In that order. It's not, people think, well, it's my business. I'm all in. I'm not. Yeah. Hello. The best way to be all in is to be God, family, everything else. So let's go right. and, and, and talk it's about it. It's not that. complicated. It's no. not complicated. Oh, wait a minute. One of the reasons I love and I'm honored that Justin has made the investing his time. Let's be blunt, everybody. Your most valuable asset is your time. Why are you here? Because you're here to become the best you possible. Justin, I so appreciate you making the time to be here. And, and I think that's an important, that's the, probably the spice that comes into the three pieces that make the triangle. What is the spice? 
It isn't complicated. It's clear. It's, it's simple. Con- it's, it's a, a simple it's clear, shape. Concise and compelling. <laughs> it will work. It's a <laughs> geometrical shape that's been proven by you know it's um our our uh, our youngest son uh, Chase who's nine. Um, he and I were talking about uh, when he was eight, uh, like six months ago. We were talking about bending time and IQ. Um, the greatest gift of um, being an entrepreneur is that you can have these discussions with your children, and then they can do whatever they want with it. They're both, uh, they're nine and 11. They're both nine quick starts like you, nine quick starts. So they're pure visionaries. Um, I love uh, them. Okay. Yeah. They're, well, they're Uncle Barry loves them. Yeah. Right. Great. They're, they're, they'll do. So we're, t- so Chase, Chase provided, um, when we were talking about bending time, he, he provided the best single definition of what life actually is that I've ever heard. And all I do is talk to smartest people biggest visionaries on planet. So, okay. So Chase can, this is when he was eight. He's nine now. So Chase considers life one long, great day, one long, great day. So there's no, uh, October or Friday, whatever that. So yesterday's before you're born tomorrow's after you died. You've already kind of said that, uh, there's a million people here today that are not here today because they're, they're dead. So enjoy that you're (laughs) here. Okay. So, okay. So then they're only, he's a simplifier. Like I am, he said, there are only two ways to have a great a great long day. Only two simple parts. It's not complicated, right? So he said, one is create more living things. The fundamental purpose of any living thing is to create more living things. So that could be a human life, a family, could be a company, which a foundation could be planting a tree. I don't know, dogs, whatever that is. Okay. So that's one seems pretty, I don't think there's an argument against that. If there is, there wouldn't be anything here, but that's feel free to argue. And then two, uh, do what you like to do and what you're good at and just keep getting better and better at it. So I'm like, oh, that's that's it. I mean, so it's simple. It makes perfect sense. Uh, to me, it's the it's the only obvious answer. And there's no argument. There's really no argument against it. And so um, uh, Earl Nightingale is my favorite. I'm guessing you love Earl Nightingale, but he's long gone. And, I, and, and by the way, if, if anybody has not heard of Earl Nightingale, because our audience right. primarily is under the age of 35. So it's quite possible that you haven't. It's worth it to invest a yeah. few minutes of your time and do a search for Earl Nightingale for two reasons. Number one, you should see his face. It's good. It's a great face. But you should hear his voice. His voice, when I was growing up, Justin, and and listening to him, it used to have a radio show, not radio show, a yeah. little, they had well, a did have that. He was on WGN Radio. Yeah, so it the voice draws you in. Yes. Because the voice came from his very being. So please tell us what I the love great that. Yeah. He, he's he was he is so wonderful. Not was. Yeah. He is. Yeah, he's because, still here. So like um right. he I mean he again he was producing things when you were when you were young. So like yeah. I grab and so just a very quick background. My father, he was my father was 61 when I was born. He was Ooh, born that's 60. unusual. Well, I mean, yeah, people like us are usually aliens. So like they're, you're just right. you're born like this or you're not. But so my um, I've always gravitated toward folks that are much older than me because like I really should be like 80 years old. Like um, I'm 46, but I should be like should have been born in 1940s or um, and but um, so Earl Nightingale is like the OG of I guess if you want to call it motivational speakers and um uh, my my two favorite quotes of his, and this goes back to what Chase was saying, um, like Chase to me is like a little Earl Nightingale. And I don't say that lightly, but he really is. No, kind of I don't think you say things lightly. Oh, no. I don't. But that one, you don't want to say things. People brag about their children, but um, that's just how it is. So Earl Nightingale's two favorite quotes. One, success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Success. Yes is the progressive realization of worthy. So worthy ideal, do what you like to do what you're good at and just keep getting better at it. And then two, again, I think this goes back to what you said about choice, but you become what you think about. You become what you think about. um, And that's a choice. So I think about spending time with my family and then connecting visionaries to serve humanity. I don't really think about anything else ever. Um, And then that focus is just like, it just exponentially grows and then transforms and then people want to be well aliens want to be a part of that let me give you a uh, i think an interesting 
acronym for GROW. Hmm. Generating rays of wisdom. Yeah. I mean, that's how your brain, your brain will never stop doing that. Ever. No. Oh, I, okay. I have a gift for Chase. I urge you to share it with him. If he likes it, he can use it. If he doesn't, that's okay. Go ahead. I'm writing this down. Life stands for living inspirationally yep. for eternity. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. We're here. It's a long day. Your actions, your thoughts, your words, and your deeds affect the planet. Right. Forever. Forever. So therefore, always, always think positive, purposeful, powerful, pleasant thoughts. By the way, I love something that um, I got from your website, and, and, I, and I know it's you. That's why I want to mention it, because it, it's so powerful. Connecting visionaries to serve humanity. Five words. <laughs> if you can sum up what you do in five words – and create a vision with that of wow now wow of course is words of wisdom words of wonder but people say wow because they they don't know how to respond i am saying to you i'm responding with yes right yes. that's what visionaries want connecting visionaries to serve humanity we're here to serve so let's do, speaking of serving, we urge you all, we have wonderful sponsors. Please utilize their products and service. We'll be right back. Have this brief message. There's more, Justin, if you can handle it. It's so wonderful. Be right back after this brief message. Don't go away. Good day, beautiful, bountiful, beloved, immortal beings, and good-looking people. Maybe you're good-looking. She's always looking for finding the good. Have we found good in abundance? Abundance. Awareness benefits you. Dance with it. That's what abundance is. Dancing with your what you have. Do what you can with what you have from where you are. That's a great quote from uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Mm. So, wonderful, Justin. You you talk about patterns and transformational aspects of life. Can you help us mm. in how do you create patterns that are transformational? How do you do it, and how do you urge people that we're, again we're yaw yaw? You associate with who you you know you are. How, how do you do that with others of our breed? It's a tremendous question. Tremendous question. Um, it goes back to Chase, um, what you said, what Earl Nightingale said, um, and then the way my brain is totally focused. Um, I think the key to life is spotting the patterns and things. And then more importantly, I think the really great visionaries take those patterns and then develop their own patterns from that. Okay. So, so what does that mean? How my brain works is again, I talked and your brain works like this too, in, in a different way of keywords uh, and or acronyms. You're actually an acronym pattern. I mean, that's really interesting. You're an acronym pattern recognizer mm -hmm. very quickly. Okay. So, and then my brain can hear the acronym pattern the way your brain works so so all i do is talk to top visionaries most of them are add again it's not a disorder and then my brain can filter out all the blah 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 and and simplify it into into a pattern that's just how my brain works so my two favorite two favorite patterns the two favorite are one uh number one by far is right mindset it's very simple. Okay. So I'll even say it's slow. Right mindset attracts right network, creates right opportunities. Right mindset attracts right network, creates right opportunities. Wrong mindset attracts wrong network, creates no opportunities. It's the same. What do you cost or charge attracts? What do you cost or charge? Bad, no opportunity there or negative opportunity. Okay. So that's one. Two, and this will also answer your question. Two, I keep making bigger investments in smaller rooms, but the people in those rooms are making bigger impact. That allows me to spend 
biggest investment in smallest room, which is my family where I can make most impact. So what does that mean? So bigger, inv I invest well over 100K US a year to be in quote unquote masterminds. That allows me, because it's a, a small room, but the people in this room are making bigger impact. That allows me to serve my purpose, which is connecting visionaries to serve humanity. And it allows me to spend biggest investment, my family, smallest room family where I can make the most impact because I'm a dad who happens to be an entrepreneur. How you take that pattern and create your own is you create your own room. You create your own smaller room where it's a bigger investment to join. And then the people, on, people in those rooms are making the, bigger, the biggest impact. And then they attract others who are making the biggest impact. So what that all comes down to is that you have to be a litmus test for people you serve. People who don't understand this think that comes off as selfish, and it's the exact opposite of selfish. Right. If you are not a litmus test for people you serve, that's hypocrisy. So I, the purpose of life is connecting visionaries to serve humanity. So I'm a connector who serves visionaries by connecting them who can serve humanity, and I'm a visionary who's serving humanity by serving purpose of my life. And then wrote a book, Epic Life, How to Build Collaborative Global Companies While Putting Your Loved Ones First, because I put my loved ones first and build collaborative global companies. That's just being a litmus test for people you serve, which is another pattern. The P word to me and the I word, pattern and impact. Yeah. We'll call, well, you know what we just did? What's the most important equation in mathematics it's called pi yeah. pi, <laughs> there, you pi. Go. So there you go yeah, this, this is pi right patterns impact by the that, way pi as far as we know never ends exactly. it never, it never just, ends. yes you it is going it will always go on and that's the genius of it and you can't build a building you can't build a life you can't do it without pattern impact that is Justin, that is just so beautiful. Thank you. It's it's, it's mathematics. So it's um. And by the way, it is mathematics. It's mathematics, and again, I see the world. My wife's like my again. My, if you think the opposite personality of me, that would be my wife. Thank God. Usually, people like us, very stabilizing, kind, loving humans, harmonious, high achievers, but harmonious. Thank God. Um, she's like you have to stop identifying people as numbers, but that's how I I, I see it, and I honestly think looking at people as numbers or in keywords, it's very elegant because it actually leads yeah, to right. a pattern. It actually mm -hmm. leads to the pattern. And then what people like you really love it because then you can take that pattern, create a pie out of it. And then I'm like, Oh, pie never ends. That <laughs> makes perfect. But that is perfectly logical to me. Perfectly. Absolutely. Logical. <laughs> That's what we do. This is, this is music. We are, we're, we're not no different. It's a different type of note, but it's the same thing. Right. And again, when you have the right notes, the right sheet of paper, the then then it's the beautiful it's the beautiful orchestra. And then, if you create the right orchestra, a right room, only the right people will want to attend that. Most people will be like, "Oh, that's too expensive to join that," or like, "Why would I pay to watch people play music?" But <laughs> once you really get and 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 uh, to your point, very early in this conversation. I'm basically useless to society besides hang out with my family and then connecting people like us. I don't really know how to do or really want to do anything else. Um, and then, and then where people think it comes off as selfish is they just don't understand. They think it comes off as arrogant. It's not arrogant at all. It's just pure confidence in, in two or three things, maybe even one thing. Arrogant people think they're great at everything. I'm, I'm terrible at almost everything like useless. Okay. This is, this gem that we just heard yeah. is so beautiful. It is the absolute opposite of what. <laughs> it's beautiful that I'm useless to say. Well, <laughs> oh, that's arrogant to be like, I, mean, I know everything. Yes, yeah, that's arrogance. Humility is. Oh, uh, here's what I do I focus on family and creating connections for better visual. music. Better um, music. Hello. <laughs> is there anything more fun? First of all, is there anything more fun? No. In other words, people want to so. be happy. They want to be healthy. They want to be wealthy. Well, you just got the formula. 
You just got the formula. It's it's so wonderful, and it's all about pie. <laughs> it's all about pie and numbers, and um, you know, there's pie day, but the um, every day for a visionary is pie day. Um, Absolutely. And um, <laughs> and you asked about visionaries, um, how I see the world, or how I I guess separate the the thing, but the words, but. So like a business owner, a human, a consultant, they they care about like revenue or a paycheck, office space, employee count, meetings. Uh, and by the way, this is all fine. I, it's fine. Right. Those um, are those, they're needed. They're necessary. They're, well, and so they're trying to change their world there, there. Okay. So mm -hmm. there, just focus on there. And then a true visionary cares about connectivity, purpose, profit, uh, uh, spending time with loved ones, whatever that means. And so they're trying to change the world, the, it's a fundamentally different. So look at what you just said again, let's unpack a couple things. It's a, a, a way of changing their world. T H E I R. Correct. Thank you. And opposed to not opposed, but just changing the world. All we're doing is we're using the first three letters. In other words, we're making it even more simple. Put away the I. Your job is to take the IR in there and turn it into something, but that's right. <laughs> so it's irrelevant, <laughs> irrelevant. Uh, well, that's uh, well, I guess yeah, well, the IR. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's so you're better at that than me. We, yeah, we use the the the. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the is, it, yes, it's 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 focused. Uh, mm. I'm almost loath to say these words, but we've come to uh -oh. a. Yes, <laughs> because I really want to discuss with you the 12 facets of free flow life and so much else. So I'm going to ask you three questions as we bring this one to a conclusion. Are okay. you? May I ask you three questions? Uh, three after that one you just asked? Or, no, no, three uh, questions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, three more. Ready? Yes. First question. Will you come back again? Yes. Thank you. Number two question. You only have 80 seconds to answer oh, this, Justin. God, only now, I think I think you've already done it, but I think it needs another piece of you to answer this question. Justin Breen, what is your most fervent desire? Uh, to be a good dad. I won't ask what good means, but yes, I... I hear it, I'm touched by it, and I love it. Thank 80 seconds so wasn't needed for that one. No, you didn't you didn't need it because you because you live it every day. It's it's what uh, Chase mm. was talking about. That's that's the beauty of it. Mm. Uh, as I said, you already said it, but I just wanted to hear it again as the answer to the question, what is your most fervent desire? And the third is, may I give you a hug in front of 366,918 people around the world? Yes. Okay. And hug stands for heartfelt, unlimited giving. Heartfelt, unlimited giving. On the count of three, dear Justin. One, two, three. <laughs> The Thank joy you. of living with your humble host, Barry Shore. And we are privileged and honored to have with us today amazing Justin Breen. Everything you want to know about Justin and his lot you want to know, just go to the website, barryshore.com. Remember to share this with five people. You want to do 50? You want to do 100,000? Yeah, that's great. Five people. Make sure everybody here shares with five people, especially your family and friends. Keep inviting them back. Because on this show, we talk about the three fundamentals of life. As we said, life, your life has purpose. And when you lead a purpose-driven life, number two happens, you go MAD. MAD is a great acronym that stands for make a difference in the world. That's why we're here. And the third is to unlock the power and the secrets of everyday words and terms like WWW, what a wonderful world. Smile, seeing miracles in life every day. Or as my eight-year-old niece says, seeing miracles in everyday life. Create the kind of world you want to live in. You can create it. Causing rethinking, enabling all to excel. We've got a lot of that today. And what will happen is you'll shift your perspective. You might keep that F in place. You'll shift your perspective. And now you can internalize, utilize, and leverage the six most important words in your life. Choice not chance, determines your destiny. 
Use four letter words. Of course, the letters, the words that we live in a positive, purposeful, powerful, pleasant world. Love, life, hope, free, give, play, pray, swim, and tell the world to F you. Capital N, capital N. And after the show, when you see your family and friends, point your finger, twinkle in your eyes, smile in your face, to F you, everybody. Remember that capital N, capital N. Where'd you get that? I listen to Barry Shore on the Joy of Living podcast. And please, please, utilize use consciously and conscientiously the two most important words in the English language three times a day, consciously and conscientiously. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Dan, so to harmonize and nurture kindness, to harmonize and nurture kindness. Everyone, everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Be kind always. Kind stands for keep inspiring noble deeds. So a blessing from Justin and Barry. Go forth. Live exuberantly. Spread the seeds of joy, happiness, peace, and love. Go mad. Go make a difference. Justin, don't go away, please. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Joy of Living podcast. Now that's another step towards your healthier, happier, and wealthier life. Never hesitate to do good in the world, no matter what the situation. Join us for another upbeat discussion next time at BarryShore.com. And be sure to leave a rating and subscribe to the show to get more conversations like this. And remember to share it with your family and friends, too. See you on the next episode.